Good morning and welcome to another trip report. It is Sunday the 5th of January 2020. This trip report will be about a small local train uh, which goes from San Sebastian or Donostia as called in Basque to um, Hende which is in France. So it's an international train. Uh, it's arrived at only 30 minutes and the reason why I make a video about this train is that it doesn't show up in the international timetable. So when you're planning to go on an international train from France to the town of San Sebastian or Donostia, it almost looks like there are no trains, while there is a train every 30 minutes. Um, this trains, these trains are being run by the company called Escotren, um, and they do have a different station in um, San Sebastian than the Renfe trains that well depart from here. Um, so you have to walk a little bit. Uh, I arrived here this morning by a train hotel which came from Portugal and decided to do the last part by this specific train. It won't be a long video. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. From the mainline Renfe station, it's about a 10 minute walk to the Esco train station. Of course, there are more Esco train stations, but I will be departing from Amara. Well, as I opened the video, it sounds like it's a train. Well, it is a train, but it's somewhere like between a train and a metro. Rail passes, for example, interrail and Eurail are not accepted here. But the prices for these trains are just really low. I haven't looked for any way of other transportation except walking between these stations, but this bike sharing program might be very useful. Donostia or San Sebastian Amara is a terminal station. There's every hour a train to Bilbao and every 30 minutes in the direction of Hende in France. Some of the stations along the way do look more like a metro station than a train station and other stations look more like a train station. So it's a kind of confusing, but you will see it in a bit. I really like this model of the underground station, while well, Escotren also serves the metro in, for example, Bilbao. But it might be just as good one of the stations along this route. Within the station you will find lots of departure and arrival screens, and before you enter the platforms you have to go through the gates. Tickets can be bought at a vending machine, and there's a ticket desk as well. Route information is all just very good and clear. For example here at the platform where you can see the line of the trains that do depart from this platform. As you maybe already noticed, these trains run on narrow gauge tracks. In the north of Spain there is a big network of narrow gauge railway tracks. Digital displays at the beginning of each platform will indicate where the next train is going to and when it is departing. This will also all be visible on the outside of each train. As I already told you in the beginning of this video, these trains do look more like a metro. And they mainly serve as commuter trains. You won't find a toilet, you won't find overhead luggage racks, but you will find an awful lot of seating capacity. Here you can get a glimpse of the interior of these trains. Well, it's basically all the same, so I didn't walk to the end of this train. Although my experience is very limited, these trains do really look clean and nice. The stations also look very clean. Within the train there's a good route information system. It's all in four languages, Basque, Spanish, French and English. You'll find many LED screens, what you can see here at the upper part, and lots of TV screens with route information, like you just saw at the lower part. Despite the fact that this is a short journey, I'll show you some views from the train. Here you can also see the, well, kind of metro stations. At the end of the video I will show you the station of Hende in France as well. Although the station in Hende is at this moment a temporary station and they will build a completely new station over there what is located next to the mainline railway station.
The temporary terminal station in Hende in France is very small. It's one track, you will find three vending machines and a ticket desk. Here you can also see what the new station is going to look like. Well, it won't be big either, but it will be way nicer at the end. From here I also made a little time lapse so you can see how you have to walk from here to the railway station or maybe the other way around. From here you can catch TCV, TER and Tren Hotel trains. As always I hope you like this video and when you like it please give me a thumbs up. When you like to see more trippy boss by train subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.